Hi everyone, welcome to another video created by me, Zan Ta. Today's Autodesk screencast focuses on some of the new features of Revit 2017. This will be one of many videos, so be on the lookout for additional videos in this series. Enjoy! Here I am in Revit 2017, and some of the new features I'd like to showcase are structural based now. The first one is a very big improvement, and that's called structural connectivity. Uh, for those of you who may or may not be aware, in Autodesk's world, they have a new software called Autodesk Advanced Steel. It's, I think it's in its second or third iteration. It gives you the ability to create structural connections for your AutoCAD or Revit model. What Revit 2017 new feature is, they've taken that capability and started to introduce it into the Revit environment. Here I am in a steel connections type of drawing. You can see that there are some already created. If I select one, we can see it's a clip angle. If I click edit type, it just has some basic data to it. Let's go ahead and make one for another situation in the model. For example, this beam to this column. If I head over to the structure tab of the ribbon, under there is a new panel called connections. I can click this little arrowhead here to get to the settings of it, and it'll bring up the structure connections settings window. It will list all the connection types and databases that are available and that have been loaded into this right hand section. I can always remove anyone that I don't need, or I can just load them all and leave them in there to use. Once they're loaded, that database has been inserted properly, and I can actually use the connection command. We'll start the connection command and pick the type of connection we want, say for example, a clip angle, and then I'll use the control um, key on my keyboard to pick the two objects that I want to create the connection for. I'll hit enter, and it builds the connection, if you will, for me. When you're working with this tool, you may or may not see the connection itself by default, but if you open up your visibility graphics dialog box and head over to structural connections, just expand it and verify you have check marks placed. If I select it, you can click modify parameters and it'll open up a dialog box that lists uh, very similar to Autodesk Advanced Steel and uh, some of the other types of structural based software that tells you it's a clip angle, the profile size that's being used, um, the long leg side, and all the other BIM data that you have to work with it. So you can make any adjustments that you need and you'll graphically see the change. So you can do single left, single right, double left, double right, uh, single left, single right, or double. And that's the property information, so it'll make the updates accordingly. The second thing that they talk about in Revit 2017 for structural enhancements is being able to split a column. If I have a Revit file here with a column that's drawn from one level all the way up past a few other levels to the rooftop level, um, from a design intent standpoint it makes sense to graphically draw it like this in the model. But the reality is you really kind of are going to end up building it from one level to another level. So how do I split this column? I could just head over to the Modify tab of the ribbon and use the Split command. Zoom in here and select that face that you want and where you want and it will split it accordingly. So it's a nice feature to have the Split command be able to split a column, not just walls and piping and ductwork. The third feature that they've introduced or enhanced, if you will, to Revit 2017 is the library for the connections and the content. They've just basically enhanced it to include more accurate data um, and more precise quantities for steel building a material capability. The last thing I'd like to show from a structural standpoint for improvements is how we understand the relationship between structural columns and their foundations. I'll close this file and take a look at another particular file. And if we take a look at this footing and we change its offset height to say minus 20, for example, it drops down. Let's go even greater than that. Let's say minus 200. And you'll see it drops down. There is a missing relationship, if you will, between the column 
and that footing. If I select the second one, let's go ahead and attach the bottom to that. And now that it's attached, if I select this particular footing and change its value, let's say minus 250 again, you'll see it drops, but that relationship holds between the concrete column and the actual footing itself. So it is an improvement. I think it's also more of a fix than anything because um, that relationship of objects being able to be attached to other objects, either the top or the bottom, is available for other objects such as walls. I think they just needed to introduce it to these objects as well. So those are the structural enhancements to Revit 2017. Thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to another video with you guys on additional uh, Revit 2017 enhancements. Thank you.